my opinion, uh, we don't have enough time to observe the stars on board Space Station. Uh, our days are very busy. At the end of the day is when we'll have a chance to do that. We have wonderful cameras with wonderful long lenses on the order of 1,600 millimeters. And uh, we can also, we, our cameras allow us to take uh, relatively fast exposures, um, even of deep space. So we've taken pictures of comets, of stars, and all kinds of other things. Myself, I'm an amateur astronomer. I have telescopes on, that I use a lot on planet Earth. Uh, I've never actually imaged the space station. I've not tried to do that, but uh, I've done, uh, I've imaged stars and uh, in galaxies and nebula before. Over. The antenna's pointing roughly east to west and the space station's up there somewhere, I suppose. I mean, yes, I have, and, uh, and this was a couple of years ago on SDS 115. Uh, we did one, I did one of the spacewalks to help uh, build the International Space Station uh, electrical power system to put uh, some of the large solar rays that we have on the U.S. segment of space station. And uh, as much fun as space flight is relative to, uh, to life on Earth, a space walk is that much more fun than, uh, than, uh, than even working aboard space station. To see the Earth independent of anything around you, to see the Earth with a very thin polycarbonate lens of the, uh, of the, uh, of the space advisors is just a spectacular tour. So I'm now facing towards the east. on the order of about 70% of the wastewater, and it re greatly reduces our, re our, uh, our need to resupply water from the ground. That is important. If we want to go to Mars, if we want to go to the moon and stay there, we have to be able to use almost everything that we have. Okay, well I'm starting to lose it a bit now, but um, would still be receiving it if I'd... No, it's becoming unreadable now, but um, anyway, if you can receive the space station on there, uh, with just the supplied rubber duck antenna, think what you'd be able to do if you had a half decent antenna. So if, if you want to go at this and think, no, I can't do it, I haven't got um, good enough equipment or specialised enough equipment, then yet again, I hope I've shown and proven to you that all things are possible. And uh, even with something as, shall we say, low spec as the bow thing, UV3R, and the supplied rubber duck antenna. You can hear the International Space Station for a few minutes at least. Um, I was able to copy several overs whilst it was in range. So there we are, this is 2 Echo Zero, Mike Delta Oscar. Edmund uh, wishing best wishes to all radio fans and friends out there and uh, bye bye for now and it is just a coincidence that the last couple of International Space Station videos that I've put on the web have been shot in car parks. I don't normally hang around in car parks because apart from anything else, as you might be able to see from my hands, it's too flaming cold. Bye for now.